The aim of this experiment is to detect the presence of reactive oxygen species in cell cultures. This is accomplished by first detecting reactive oxygen species using a fluorescent dye. Next, the levels of nitric oxide in cells are measured using a colorimetric assay. Finally, the effect of reactive oxygen species is determined by detecting the reduction or oxidation of glutathione using a luminescent assay. My name is Danny Wu. I'm a postdoc in the lab of Patricia Yunda, and I will be demonstrating this procedure. Carboxy H2 DCFDA is non fluorescent, but in the presence of reactive oxygen species, this reagent is oxidized and fluoresces green. Immediately prior to use, prepare a fresh stock solution of carboxy H2 DCFDA in sterile DMSO or 100% ethanol. Wash the cells with HEPES buffered salt solution or phosphate buffered saline to remove traces of the original medium. In this assay, we use the human leukemia jerkat cell line. After centrifuging, dispose of the supernatant. Load the cells with the dye at a final concentration of 1 micromolar in regular culture medium with reduced serum. Incubate the cultures for 30 minutes in the dark in a conventional incubator. Discard any unused dye solution. Next, remove the carboxy H2 DCFDA containing medium and wash the cells twice with HBSS or PBS. Transfer the cells to a plate and, from this step forward, protect the cells from light. Then, add fresh medium containing a drug of choice to the carboxy H2 DCFDA.